Because my knee-jerk response to anything is sarcasm, bitter, bitter <laughs> sarcasm, which tends to, I don't know, I, someone once pointed out to me that it's a defence mechanism that has the effect of making people more inclined to attack me. <laughs> so, it's not working. Yeah. It did inspire this poem, um, which is called Workshop. The session begins in the usual way, housekeeping where the fire exits are, that sort of thing. There isn't a drill plan for today, so if the alarm goes off, it's for real, is that okay? <laughs> Next, it's introductions. The session leader starts us off, and his name, as it turns out, is actually Dan Brown. And I have to resist the urge to shout, I thought that Da Vinci Code was shit! <laughs> I expect he's probably heard that one before. It wouldn't get us off to a very good start. Now, as we do our questionnaires, Dan asks us what we understand by CBT. Now, up until recently, I thought it was about learning how to ride a motorbike, and I still expect Dan to take us into the carpet. Carpet? Yeah, <laughs> into the carpet. To ride on some cones on a 50cc. But apparently not. Dan explains to us that depression is actually the most common complaint seen by a GP, that one in four of us will be affected by a mental health issue at any one time, that one in five of us will be affected by depression at some point in our lives, and one in ten of us is suffering from depression at any one time. And I want to say to him, surely you're only telling us that to try and cheer us up. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dan says to us, look, as we're a little bit late getting started off today, is everyone alright if we run over by about 15 minutes? Is that okay? Or does anybody need to get away? And I say, no Dan, we're a bunch of chronic depressives in a group therapy workshop at half past one on a Wednesday afternoon. We're unemployed, unmotivated and socially isolated. Not one of us would be here if we had anything better to do. <laughs> Gary over there on the comfy chair I've just chosen to share with us all, but he often sits at home and stares at the wall for hours on end. And judging from the understanding nods around the room, it's a passion shared by everybody in the group. It's one of my favourite hobbies. In fact, I'm thinking of inviting everyone back to my place afterwards to see if we can make some sort of a game of it, because I've been doing it for years and I reckon I'll be fucking ace at it. But unfortunately, Dan, I have to get on the next plane back to Switzerland before my colleagues at CERN notice that I'm gone. Because if I take my eye off the Large Hadron Collider for too long, there's going to be a fucking big hole where the Alps used to be. Other than that, I don't have any pressing commitments for today. And by the way, Dan, Angels and Demons was bollocks as well. <laughs> I don't actually say any of that. I'm determined to make the most of these mood management workshops. <laughs> <laughs>